Hey everybody, Dave here, and welcome back to another one. Today is all about chum pots. I'm going to show you a system that I put together for just a couple of dollars that helps you to easily deploy them, retrieve them, and make sure your boat doesn't become a mess. So stick around. Okay, so this is the system that I came up with. I have a regular chum pot here that I bought. Uh, I put a 50 cent carabiner on there so I could disconnect it very quickly. And I used braided mason's line. You don't want the twisted, you want the braided. This is about a 160 pound test. And then what I did was I used a uni knot to attach it to this carabiner. Then I took a piece of one inch PVC and I cut this end at about a 45 degree angle. Drilled the hole and then I used like a file or another drill bit just to, to chamfer that to make sure there was no sharp edges on this. And then what I did was I had picked up a couple of these Ocean City reels. They're, these were $2 a piece I found at a flea market. And then what I did was I simply just used a number 20 pipe clamp right like that to attach it down through to the foot of the reel. So once I'm ready to deploy the pot, all I have to do, hang it over the side, click the reel back, feed out the line, keep my thumb on the reel here so I don't get a backlash. And when it hits bottom, I just lock the reel, reel up the slack, and stick it in the rod holder. If I have all the rod holders being used, then I just put it in the side of my storage area along the boat. Once I'm ready to bring the pot up over the side, it's just a matter and reeling it up. Once I get it here, I leave it hung over the side of the boat and say I want to move to another spot or say I'm ready to go home. I just drop it inside this baggie just like this so it doesn't get all over my boat. Pull it up around the sides and I can lay it right inside my storage area. Ready to move on to a new spot. Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. I hope that tip was helpful to you. I hope it'll uh, keep your boat a lot neater and I hope it'll keep your lines from getting all tangled and messed up. So you'll be able to be fishing more and uh, worrying less about untangling a mess in your boat. You know, I just want to leave you with this and that is that creation here is God's playground for you and I to enjoy. He designed it so that it would be a reflection of who he is. It says in Romans chapter one, about the invisible things as Godhead and all that he is can be clearly seen through what has been made. And when we look at nature, we see power and we see majesty and all that's about God. And you know, it's all about having a relationship with him. If you're not sure how to have that relationship, it's really simple. And I've laid it all out for you in my free little booklet called Growing Deep. It can be found in the description below. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, it doesn't require email or anything else to capture. And it's yours free. Just by clicking on it, you can start reading right away. Guys, thanks so much again for joining us. Uh, you know, if you're not a subscriber, I encourage you to do that. We've got a lot more content like this coming your way, showing you how to save money and how to enjoy the outdoors more deeply. So until next time, remember this, and that is that God loves you more than you could ever know. So until the next one, remember to get outdoors. God bless.